I've been playing football since I was six years old, so you know I mean, I've always just loved the game and had a passion for it from day one. Keeping it himself is Oreo. Great job of hiding the football. He fumbled it, and it's recovered by UMass. The first fumble of the year for Northeastern that they have lost. They were one of two teams in all of America that hadn't lost a fumble on the season. It comes to an end right there. Every year, I just felt like, you know, I've improved as a player from the day I stepped on the field, from, like I said, being six years old. You know, I, every year I've improved. Led by two playmaking defensive ends, Michael Hansen and David Burris. Well, they've got a terrific defensive football team, and Hansen and Burris typify what they do well defensively. They just can fly to the football. They have great defensive speed, great defensive intensity. They play terrific athletes on defense. When you look at Hansen out of Teaneck, New Jersey, he just flies and puts pressure on from the perimeter. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about all is... A tackle was made by Michael Hansen on Jamal Sullivan. Strong hands by Michael Hansen right there. Brought Michael Su Jamal Sullivan down. Michael Hansen's in a unique position. He plays that anchor. He's always going to be over the tight end. He has a lot of responsibility in this defense. Sullivan, far side of the field now. Good pursuit straight down the line of scrimmage. Same guy, Michael Hansen hit him after a pickup of about a yard. Yeah, slow developing play. Michael Hansen did a great job taking care of that C gap and then not getting cut off by the tight end. Coaches at UMass, you know, we had a real close relationship. We experienced a lot of success in my early years, you know, going to the national championship in which I played in my freshman, redshirt freshman year. You know, so my first two years, we, we had a lot of success, you know, and had a good relationship with them from day one. You know, Coach Brown, Don Brown, who's at Maryland now, actually defensive coordinator. He came to my house and, and with a couple other coaches. So I, my family really felt immune and felt comfortable with me going into that situation because they really reached out as people, you know, beyond coaches, they reached out as people to let them know that they really wanted me. I started out as a kid, you know, and I always had mentors and things like things of that nature. So just anything I could do, if I ever had it, I would give back to kids, you know, not even making it to the NFL. Anything I can do to give back to children, I would do because they always need role models and such, people to look up to that are doing the right thing. And I want to be one of those people eventually.